I'm Siobhan and I'm doing a PhD here in the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge. Greek and Roman literature is at the core of a classics degree and we're here in the museum to hear from some of the students what it is that they enjoy about studying Greek and Latin literature and why they think it's so important. I think that ancient literature has a really important role in a classics degree of kind of tying together a whole different um, mix of disciplines that you do. The reason I've really enjoyed studying ancient literature in the original language um, is because firstly it's really satisfying um, to be able to say that you've translated a whole text for yourself. If you read several different translations of one text you'll find so many um, differences between them and I think this reflects the fact that you cannot have one definitive translation of a text. If you want to know what Cicero was really saying, the only way is to go and read it in the original. Also, to be able to read ancient texts in the original language is really cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, to begin with, you tend to cover the big authors like Homer or Virgil, Cicero, um, a bit of Euripides, stuff like that. Um, and as you progress along the course, you get introduced to some of the less mainstream texts that you might not have heard of. Well, when we study classics at Cambridge, we do it via lectures and we do it via supervisions. And the two complement each other very well. It happens all the time that you go into a supervision with one idea of how something worked, and you come out with a completely different idea and a completely new insight into the text. I would take issue with George's use of the word divine, uh -huh. because... I think that this is like noticeably the fact that there aren't any gods in mm. this. It's all very well being told something and simply receiving knowledge, but actually having a conversation with someone who's clearly interested about it, uh, about the subject, is invaluable, I think, and uh, sort of puts you back in touch with why you started studying classics in the first place. Why does the book end here? Because, I mean, although Perseus has finished talking and it's kind of the end of it, mm. you get the sense that... You know, they're still in the middle of like it's still in the middle of the kind of Perseus story. Uh, I don't know. Do you, is there any particular reason for that? Do you, the, the, Why do you all... think it ends here? Well, doesn't that always happen? Like it never kind of ends. When you think it's, it always ends a bit after, like into yeah. the next book. So there's that like continuous story sort of moves between boundaries, doesn't it? Between books. We also have lectures um, in the faculty, and you'll have these you know stars of the classics world telling you all about their interpretation of um, a particular text you're studying, which is really exciting. Well, the particular thing that I love about studying ancient literature is the way that you can compare the attitudes of the classical, uh, classical people in classical times to that of our own age. But when you look at um, many texts, for example, Ovid's Ars Amatoria, uh, Cicero's Pro Caelio, we could actually find that often the humour, the attitudes that are portrayed in them, are dangerously close to what uh, we might think today. And but actually the differences are valued too. And actually the exoticism of the ancients is um, something which isn't to be underestimated in terms of why we enjoy um, reading them. But ancient literature is uniquely suited to, to forcing us out of our comfort zone, to forcing us to look at the world in different ways because of the massive gap that it opens up. Um, Kind of the, the such similarities between us and the ancient cultures and the stories we tell and the way we relate to people and then there are such great differences and ancient literature is one of the best ways to force yourself to, to look at the world anew, look at the world afresh and kind of whilst discovering stuff about ancient peoples, ancient worlds and ancient literature you kind of can discover more about yourself.